Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful, divine, feminine energy. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the beautiful, divine, feminine energy, the collective energy. I will, you lovely ladies, are doing amazing. Um, everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to go ahead, tap into the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on. I'm not going to be too long-winded today because I want to just dive in. If you are new here, welcome, beloveds. I hope that the messages resonate. Uh, the way that I do things on this side is I uh, channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient, and I am also an empath. Um, I listen to music in the background. Those messages tend to blend beautifully with the messages I'm channeling intuitively as well as what's coming out with the tarot cards and everything just blends very beautifully very beautifully um my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones so do not try to force a story to be your story if it doesn't apply let it fly by ashe so let's go ahead do some house cleaning and we're going to go ahead and call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides, Deities, Animal Totems, Earth, Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, Most High God, our Creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for our beautiful Divine Feminine Energy. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, who is here with me today. I felt very inspired to uh, put this powerful force here on the table so that he can oversee this reading. So, Today's message is sponsored by the angels and the Orishas and all of our guides. And so it is. So mote it be our shape. So let's tap and tune in right now. Um, what's playing is we have Iman Omari and the name of this song is called Energy. So it's very, very, very important to pay attention to your energy, the energy levels Pay attention to the people you're around if you feel your energy levels drop. If you feel that your energy as of late, you've been very fatigued or you couldn't get out of the bed or you just feel this very heavy uh, energy around you, surrounding you. Um, if you don't know what it is or where it's coming from, if you know that you haven't been that busy to be that fatigued, um, somebody could be manipulating your energy. So you could be having some sort of attack. There could be some sort of psychic attack, spiritual attack. So you need to be mind mindful um, to protect your energy right now because I feel strongly that there is some sort of an attempt of an attack and I feel it is due in part to the fact that you all are about to take off like there's something amazing coming in and I feel like there are some folks that are really disgruntled about your success your progress and they're trying to take that last minute attempt to thwart your plans, to block potential blessings, to confuse, to distract, and to even detract something that you are working towards. So be mindful to protect your energy. When I say protect your energy, be mindful of the people you have around you. Be mindful of the cipher. Be mindful of the people uh, that you allow in your cipher. Be mindful of the information that you share with individuals. Be mindful not to just dispose of certain personal items. Um, say for instance, uh, in your, your bathrooms, like if you have a lot of traffic coming in and out of your house, um, be mindful not to leave certain things around that are personal. Like if you have a hairbrush and you brush your hair or a comb and it's just sitting in the bathroom and then somebody comes, visits, they use your restroom, be mindful not to do that because I'm picking up on manipulative energies, people manipulating energies. So I'm getting very strongly an energy of like a high priestess, the devil. I'm getting even the magician. Um, the magician could be 
be someone who uses the power uh, for good or for bad. And we all can embody and and uh, channel the power of the Magi. Um, but it is all about where you're working from, the the the, the levels. Uh, that you're coming from are you coming from a high perspective like you coming from a higher perspective or are you coming from your lower self so you got to be mindful um, we have right now Jill Scott and Paul Wall uh, and the name of this is called so gone so the word that really stuck out was wall I feel like somebody is absolutely trying to be a roadblock block um, trying to block uh, an opportunity trying to block or distract um, your your um, success or your movement if there is a wall in front of you there is no movement forward you're just stuck so maybe there is someone trying to like I said block your blessings block an opportunity um, I already picked up in those former readings the Scorpio the feminine and the masculine um, yin and yang readings last week that if you are uh, experiencing you know some sort of delays at your place of employment like if you've been putting in your application applying for jobs you know that you are uh, meeting the requirements that you have the skills that you have the experience but yet no one is calling you it's because somebody perhaps a manager um, has been giving you negative feedback has been trying to protect prevent some sort of success with so gone I feel that this is going to absolutely blow up in this person's face because you're going to be up out of there you're going to be gone you're going to be they're no longer going to have that type of um, control of over your career or over the successes that you have um, within your career so you're about to be gone so just stay steadfast stay focused don't get distracted um, just as I said protect your energy some of you all if you still work in an office setting um, you need to take like a little bit of black salt or a little bit of um, you could even take sea salt um, and you could just put it around your desk don't let everybody see what you're doing do it very quietly very privately put it like right you know if you're in a cubicle setting um, just circle it where it's protecting you um, wherever you're seated that way it could you know kind of prevent that negative energy to um, to um, to uh, manipulate you know whatever it is that you are doing whatever you're working on and it will it will protect you um, so set up a force field a protective field uh, shield um, if you have um, you know you should also like before you like when you are in your place of employment and you feel that heaviness or you feel that somebody's like you know micromanaging you hovering over you um, just always like minding your business and not allowing you to do your job because they're pinging you every five seconds or they emailing you questioning what you're doing where you're at what you what you're working on um, just just recite the Psalms 23 recite Psalms 91 in those instances and watch how quickly that energy will disappear and also ask your angels to not only reveal your enemies but also make you invisible to your enemies so that they can just drive each other crazy so if you're invisible to your enemies they won't they can't see you to attack you so it's like out of sight out of mind so make you, you, you call upon that ask for that that's that's something new that came to me so um definitely you could use that all right <laughs> but um so let's go ahead see what we got coming in going out going is on right see that look we got oshun singing stuck all right so somebody's trying to keep you stuck and stagnant they are really adamant on that this is a message that has been coming out so much that there is no type of coincidence the masculines had it in their reading the feminines had it in their reading and then when I did a reading for Scorpio energy it was also in that message so a lot of you all are really you know um, seeking to pursue new opportunities and there is someone that is you know trying to roof you you know and roof you meaning trying to keep you stuck according to Oshun but Oshun is a very beautiful powerful a loving attractive 
deity. She's an Orisha and she brings about not only attraction, beauty, but she also brings about opportunities. So I absolutely feel that you are naturally going to attract whatever it is that you desire because your heart is pure and because you've worked for it. So whoever these miserable people are that are trying to put a stick in your wheel, meaning your wheel of fortune, meaning something that's destined for you, they gonna be they gonna be stuck on stupid. If anything, <laughs> they trying to keep you stuck and stagnant, but they gonna be stuck on stupid. Ashe, see that? You can't stunt nobody's growth. What did I say? Y'all have worked for this. Seven personal growth. And that's also the number of the crown chakra. That's also the number of the chariot. You are moving forward, beloved. There's nothing these people could do to stop you. That's why Soul Gone was playing by Jill Scott and Paul Wall. Whoever this is that's trying to put a roadblock, you're going to bolt over that. You're going to power through it with that chariot. Because that's how powerful, that's the intensity, that's the, the, the assertiveness, that willpower, that drive, that ambition that you're moving with because you've learned your value. This is spiritual growth. This is emotional growth. This is physical growth. You've grown personally. And whatever these individuals are doing, like I said, there is a sense of them being very in, very much in um, not just competitive, but very jealous and envious of you it's it's deeper than just you know because if this is a supervisor what would they be jealous of you about if they're supervising you so it's like they're jealous of your potential they're jealous of the light that you shine in they're jealous of the beauty your attractiveness you attract things to you people gravitate to you they hate the way others love you and this is a reason why they're trying to dim your light, block blessings. They don't want l things to flourish for you. They don't want you to have the success. They don't want you to have the recognition. They're trying to be that thorn in your back. But whatever they're doing for your bad, trust and believe your angels, your guardians, your spirit team, your spiritual parents, your ancestors, they are pushing you forward because you deserve this. You don't get to personal growth where you are at your crown chakra, where you are very in tune, tapped in. You're tapped into God frequency. You're tapped into your Christ consciousness. You're connected with your higher self. And when you are connected to all three, you are receiving divine interventions, download synchronicities and messages daily. And you're also very aware of what type of disdain people carry. That's why energy was playing because maybe you can pick up on the energy that other people have and they think they're slick and sly, but the energy doesn't lie. So whatever these individuals are doing to try to block blessings, you are countering it. You're dodging it. It's like you bobbing and weaving. You want your Muhammad Ali in the ring. Like what? Who wants what? And they can't put a finger on why you are able to continue to grow and thrive even though they're throwing every type of roadblock at you. They're throwing everything at you, but you're, you're dodging it, bobbing and weaving it. And it's because you have that sixth sense, you're intuitively very powerful right now, and your spirit team is not playing when it comes to you because you have a purpose, you have an a, a, a absolute mission here. And your mission is to help heal others, to help activate and bring awareness to others. So spirit is not going to play with your energy like that. They're not going to let anyone else play with your energy like that, I should say. But with the seven, you are very in tune. Tap in. Tap in and trust what you feel. Use your intuition. Use your intuition at all times. And we have Roy Ayers playing uh, Searching. So on the split, we have manifestation. See that? They can't block nothing. You're manifesting this. Whatever this is that you have coming in, this is why they are hating. Because you're still being blissed. You're still being blissed. You're still being recognized. Some of these people could be so miserable that they're searching for something. Looking for something to use against you. Looking for something to, you know, have as um, some sort of, um, some sort of, uh, how should I say? It's just like they're trying to find anything that they could use to negate, you know, to negate whatever it is you're working towards. 
like I said, if so, if some of you are applying for positions and applying for roles, um, they could be bringing up some old um, information, something that doesn't even apply to what you are doing now. Like, well, yeah, back in, you know, 2019, they did get an era, but, you know, they've been working very hard. So it's like they're trying to undermine you you know, searching for something just to use against you. Thank you, spirit. But look, you're manifesting anyway. This is you manifesting anyway. You are still going to succeed, just as I said, because you've put forth the effort. And I feel this is like spirit is showering you with manifestations, with blessings. You see how the sun just started shining in this room? So it's like they can't dim your light because you were born to shine bright. And that's what they most hate about you. That's what they're mostly jealous and envious of. They hate the way others love you. They hate the way you're received so well. They hate, they can't understand it. And so with this energy, you're just growing and growing and glowing and ascending and elevating and improving while they're sitting around hating searching for reasons to continue to the hate the hate coalition <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like they on some real hate protests out here but they can't stop your blessings they can't stop what's meant for you you've worked for this with this eight right here this is an infinite supply this is infinite possibilities and it's because you did the work this is because you implemented the changes necessary. You've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So this is powerful. So Divine Spirit, 11 Light, what messages do you have for my beloved Divine Feminine Energy? May I have a message of love and of light for my Divine Feminines? They hate the changes y'all have made. And the changes you all have made, like I said, they were for the better. You know, you wasn't you wasn't out here playing you what you was out here really improving self improving you know mind body and soul this is like really you know very telling of the the vile ways you know people can be very vile and for no apparent reason reason other than you know you you're a beautiful soul you're an earth angel you know, you've worked hard to transform yourselves, to to emerge as new and improved individuals. Some of you all, I heard the word reinvented yourselves, you know, while they are still remaining the same bitter, you know, stank, stale attitude. It's like you've been growing and maturing while they're stuck and they want to keep you with stuck there with them in misery because they're miserable. So it's very, very telling. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful divine feminine. So we have health here, 71, health. This is mental, mental health, because this purple always denotes psyche. This is your consciousness. This is the energy of someone who could potentially be like very, um, I just feel like there's, there's like ruminating, pining, the Eight of Swords is like self-imposed. So if someone is like overly concerned with you and what you have going on, this would, you know, would in fact confirm that somebody is a little mentally ill. This is like obsessively thinking of another person and obsessively watching and stalking them because they're progressing. They see clearly you've made some very powerful changes 13 is associated with the death card in traditional tarot so you've like i said transformed for the better and so this is causing a lot of angst a lot of frustration somebody is obsessively thinking of you stalking you and this is like somebody that's so deceitful they're driving themselves insane because like before you get the the set, the eight of uh, swords, because this reminds me of like the eight of swords and the eight of swords is really like somebody ruminating, pining, anxious, overthinking, analysis, paralysis, obsessively thinking of something over and over daily, you know, um, and not coming up with any conclusions. But before you get to the eight of swords, you have the seven of swords and that is self-deception. So someone has tricked themselves into looking at you 
as the problem or maybe they've tricked themselves into looking at you as the problem and now they can't stop thinking about you because all they're seeing is you progressing they're seeing you put forth the effort they're seeing you transform even though they tried to trip you up they tried to cause a roadblock 13 is the death 13 is um literally like a painful ending a loss um something that really impacted you in a negative way but you flipped it you know what i'm saying you 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 turn that pain into power and so now you have a sense of independence you're self-sufficient you're self-reliant you you you're sturdy again you're back on your two you know on your one two you're doing your thing and it's because you made the effort you didn't sit down whining complaining tattletaling you just did the work you smiled and forgave them all and did the work and that's why this person is now stuck on stupid like yo how the hell did they get out of that little entanglement and it's because they've been working very hard to trip you up to sabotage you this is a very tricky deceitful energy and all they're doing is causing causing themselves so much mental anguish that it's not even funny it's like you you it's like you're returning all of that ish to sender and not only that i feel like this is a part of their karma because you're gonna reap what you sow if you're using your power for bad you're gonna reap what you sow so it's like whatever they're willing on you whatever their intentions are for you they are suffering the consequences of them because now they're stuck here feeling a whole lot of confusion you know, stuck in a, a very, uh, you know, cloudy uh, mind space. Like they are very cloudy mentally. This is borderline like, you know, um, mental illness damn near. You know, someone's mental health is is um, is really um, impacted here because of the likes of you and your success. 13 reduces to four. So I feel like, you know, you... Focusing on yourself and loving you has really improved your movements. You're not allowing someone else's opinions and someone else's tactics, someone else's evil ways and manipulative ways affect you and the way that you're doing you. And spirit sees all. So it's like spirit is blessing you because of the efforts you've made, even though you've had this very vile, toxic energy, two, 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 two on the clock, and that's eight. So what did I say? That's 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 definitely like this is their karma. You're gonna reap what you sow, good or bad, and that's why they're stuck here, because they're using their powers for bad. Even if you are in a position like a supervisor, a, a lead at a local grocery store and you have a position where you are you know to manage a group of people your role isn't to just be an overseer to just crack a whip on people your role regardless of what that hr policy says for the manager is like you're there to be a human and to help other humans do their job but also be great leaders lead and and you wouldn't hire people that didn't know how to do the job so hire them and let them do what you hired them to do but you don't have to be hovering over somebody that is not what being a manager is that's not what being in a position of power entails is diminishing other people because you can that is a very low vibrational energy and that's why this person is going through karma this is karma dharma you're going to reap what you sow. I strongly feel somebody is going through some sort of karmic, you know, they're going through their own karma due in part to what they've put out. So the seeds they've sowed, now they're going to have to, they're going to have to sit with that. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my divine feminine. We have a message of love and light. We have a message of love and light for my divine feminine spirit. We have a message of love and light spirit. See how, yep, we got domestic harmony number 46. And that's the number 10. So there's an end, you know, when I think of domestic, you know, it's not just, you know, about the household, but it's like something within yourself even, even in your place of employment. It's like something's coming to an end. The peace, 
you know, that whole, you know, feeling of enjoying your job, loving what you do, waking up and having that feeling of like really, you know, feeling like you was in a safe space. It's like that's over and you're on to the bigger and better. You know, I feel like a lot of you are going to receive some sort of um, good news pertaining an opportunity. And that's what is causing somebody some angst, because whatever they was trying to do to sabotage you, spirit flipped that. Whatever they was doing to harm you, hurt you, it's like spirit turned it around for you because it's it's absolutely meant for you. It's destined for you. It's a part of your destiny. And so that stick in the wheel they was trying to place to block a blessing is like, you know, I feel like you're going to be back. You're going to be back on on top of things because it's the end of, you know, this very toxic type of dynamic. You know, this person was like literally like. This was a hidden ener enemy. Yet you, you had a, a person that was around you. That was really trying, even if this isn't at your place of employment, even if this is like an ex, a child's father, child's mother, whatever, you know, some of you all are in same sex relationships, which is why I said that. But even if this was that type of person, even if this is family, it's like somebody is stressing over you, but you're moving on to bigger and better. And it's because you love yourself. And you've learned to master your craft. This blue and this green. Blue deals with the throat chakra. Throat chakra represents your expression of the self. Whether communicatively, artistically, creatively, you've learned to express yourself. Stand up for yourself. You've learned to master craft, sharpen your sword. You've learned what your soul's miss mission and purpose is. And you've also learned to love yourself. So you have emotional intelligence now. So you're no longer falling for the okie doke where they was able to manipulate you like emotionally or, um, you know, just just uh, manipulate you even uh, through mental manipulation. It's like now you are on to bigger and better. There's an ending of this disharmony because this was definitely not harmonized. And you love yourself. See that six? There's, there's new love opportunities also. Someone from your past that could potentially be returning to you. This is what we're about to pull a card for what's hidden in the energies and love is here. So some of you all don't even realize that there's an opportunity for uh, some sort of love uh, connection with a past person. And we got Smooth the Hustler featuring Trigger. And this is called Broken Language. So for some of you all, this could be um, someone that's from a, a different cultural background, ethnic background, somebody that's not of the same ethnic background as you. This could be someone from a different country, because when you speak bro broken language, it's usually because language is not your, you know, that's a secondary language for you. But somebody definitely, you know, a very universal language is love. So this person definitely, perhaps this person, the reason why it's broken is that this person may not have expressed this love that they feel for you, but now it's becoming very evident with all blue. I do feel like this person is going to express these feelings of love. Somebody is like, you know, using their intuition um, or receiving messages, I should say, perhaps via their dreams or maybe they're getting downloads as well. But it's like it's very apparent that somebody still has some love, some some feelings of love. They're going to communicate that at some point. And this may be very shocking. I feel like it's going to be a shocker when they do, because I do feel like this is, um, you know, uh, someone from your past. So this card just flew out and we got 66 healing. So there's been a definite need to heal not only on your uh, part, but on someone else that could be coming in. Cause remember we had six love. Now we got six, six. So this person has been needing to heal themselves. And I feel like you both are mirroring one another in terms of healing, uh, because this is a double number. And if you have been here before, you know that I see double numbers as you and your divine counterpart, um, whomever that may be mirroring one another. So just as I said, when you are dealing with very vile, toxic energies, the first thing you must do is to protect yourselves and heal yourselves. Uh, but you also need to make sure to cut those those energetic cords. 
So that is a part of the process of healing. I feel whoever you're attracting is doing the same thing because maybe there were some karmic connections, karmic relationships with people that you needed to end those cycles and learn those lessons with. With this environment, I am strongly feeling like this could be someone you are absolutely familiar with, which is why I said this is someone from your past because that six love is telling me like it's giving me the six of cups. It's even giving me the lovers. Um, and that usually deals with like a past love. Um, I was feeling past love vibes um, as well. Like somebody could be uh, coming back, returning someone that you have some sort of chemistry, someone that you have some sort of synergy with. This is somebody that could be returning. Uh, maybe there was a case of, you know, the wrong timing. Uh, you connected with this person, but things ended prematurely because you both were still, you know, dealing with some entanglements with your karmics. And those cycles needed to be closed out in order for this new opportunity, this new beginning to take off. I've felt that energy a lot this year that there was someone from your past that was kind of like watching you and waiting for the right time and I just feel like because we're seeing the healing and because we've seen you know uh, some remnants of someone taking accountability because in order for you to heal you that's that's a bold statement you know to to take healing into effect because you know that there is something broken within you or there is something that you needed to rejuvenate within your spirit so that is a very mature way to approach you know your spiritual journey with this someone feels strongly that you are a wish fulfillment that you're the one that got away um they're mustering up the strength to come towards you uh this is someone i do feel you are familiar with someone you could have even worked with um when i get the 444 another um double number this is someone who's also been maturing um, and growing and, and, and just, you know, learning their own love language, um, also learning to emote, uh, to be more vulnerable. Um, but this is someone who is learning to love themselves uh, because love is the first step. You got to love yourselves first in order to know how to love others. And that's what the healing is all about. It's it's pointing those things out. So now someone is becoming more emotionally intelligent. Um, and through this process, they realize and they have love for you. So I do feel like this is someone that wants to grow and wants to return, um, wants to heal this connection. Um, we have Anthony Hamilton. So he's singing amen. So yeah, this is somebody that is definitely, um, perhaps they're listening to the gospel. Uh, you know, maybe they go into a pastor, go into a master teacher. Maybe they go into um, perhaps an elder um, to seek advice, wise counsel. Um, they could even be reading and studying spiritual doctrines um, just to just to learn how to navigate towards the divine feminine just to learn uh what you know what they ought to do to cease this moment um but let's see what we got let's see what's what's hidden in the energy for our divine feminine thank you spirit see that new beginning this person wants a new start new beginning so there is a brand new beginning here and this is with someone i feel from your past the 66 reduces to 12, which is three. So I do feel like there was hurt and pain because I'm getting like the three of swords. I'm getting three of parties with the three of cups, like the third party shenanigans. Three of pentacles could also insinuate that. Um, but I also feel like there's been a lot of healing, a lot of recovery um, after some sort of disappointment. And now there's this beautiful, passionate, powerful new start. A lot of bold steps forward. Um, this is really uh, someone also coming in. What did I say? They're going to communicate. So I do feel like with this amen song, like this person may see you, you know, because that 66 reduces to 12, which is three. That's also the empress. So they could see you as like wifey material because um, I keep hearing church when I hear the word amen. Um, and this is Anthony Hamilton. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody whose first, middle or last name could be Anthony or Hamilton. 
um, but they definitely want to communicate and this is the same person the six and then we got the six here so this is that same person that you are you know kind of like mirroring energetically I feel that both of you are very intuitive you that you know it's like they could be communicating with you already telepathically they could be having a lot of dream activity you know um, and I feel some someone is healing from some sort of uh, former relationship that karmic relationship um, this could be you or this other person but that is why that domestic harmony is at a 46 because it has come to an end you know um, it was definitely unhealthy it was definitely something that wasn't it was imbalanced after a while and it was being forced but now this bold new step taking the right and appropriate steps 46 domestic harmony that's a new beginning but the first step is healing and as you heal yourself now you could really enjoy and embark on this new voyage this new venture um, and there is communication because someone has become enlightened someone sees clearly what they want they see clearly you know uh, what they may have you know what mistakes they may have made in the past so what is the outcome for my divine feminine I may have a message of love and light spirit I have a message of love and light thank you see that spirituality now you got a double 77 you guys are spiritually connected didn't I say sp this was like a past life connection and then 44 is here you met this person already you this person was someone that you have planted seeds with roots with you you have some sort of history you know there's a familiarity with this person and with this 7 7 I feel absolutely this person communicates with you they've been growing as well so it's almost as if this person has been um, you know kind of triggered and and motivated by you in some some way and and I do feel like there is a sense that this person does watch you and they will communicate uh, eventually by calling texting even visiting um, but I also feel they communicate with you a lot via you know the dream world I keep hearing dreams you know maybe this person dreams of you a lot you know they may dream of you a great deal and in dreaming of you this is making them and inspiring them to communicate to reach out because they do see you as wish fulfillment they're learning like I said, because I was hearing with Amen Church, you know, maybe they are, you know, um, because the 14 reduces to five. That is the Hierophant. So that is someone who's perhaps, you know, sitting at the feet of an elder in the family, you know, who could be dropping jewels and gems on them, giving them some really sound advice. And they are um, they're being obedient and they're looking at themselves. They're reflecting on their past behavior, reflecting on themselves and realizing that they you know if they want this they have to make the necessary changes because they see that you've transformed and changed they see that you have grown you know remember we saw that 13 so it's like they know that you're not the same person so they're they're trying to meet you where you are you better believe this person is watching this person definitely watches you so let's see what we got so let's tap in I'm gonna pull some messages from where is that deck I want to use this deck haven't used this in a while and uh, spirit encouraged me today to pull these messages so let's see what we got and so we have destiny child and this is called so good yep and this is the ten of cups here so I feel like when this person comes back, like this relationship is going to be so good before we had so gone by Jill Scott, because you you're leaving some karmic cycle or leaving a, a very toxic circumstance. And now you're coming into something that's going to be so good. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the epitome of not just emotional fulfillment, but just joy, peace, happiness, having that life partner, that that person that you can lean on that person that's your rock someone you could build and grow with this is someone that will you know compliment you 
This is someone that will give to you equally. You know, whatever you invest in this relationship, they are there to meet your needs and you are meeting theirs. So this is a very beautiful, very solid connection, solid union. You're going to feel so good. See that? I said that with that high priestess there, this is an energy here. You know, I feel a lot of you know. You could sense it. Like you could sense that something is coming in. Maybe you can't pinpoint exactly what. But this is like somebody that has been really hiding some deep feelings and emotions. And they're going to communicate and express this truth of how much you make them feel so good. How much you make them feel brand new. How much you fulfill them emotionally how much love see that the four of wands this is the 11 11 i told you all the past life love is coming towards you and you will be celebrating this is somebody that you will be building with you know this is someone that you will build a home build a legacy a family maybe even businesses but this is a very spiritual connection partnership this is not just some old joe blow you know or Jill Blow, like this is someone that you have some sort of past life connection to, and you're coming into union, and it's you're going to be celebrating. And with this page of coins, I definitely feel someone wants to make an offer. There's a solid offer, you know, there's a solid offer. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages you have for my beautiful Divine Feminine? Spirit is saying, take that leap of faith, surrender. There goes that devil. See that devil? This devil is watching you as you take this leap of faith, hoping you fall and break your neck. Like this is that type of person that'd be like, break a leg. Who the hell says that before you perform? You about to go do a whole damn ballet <laughs> performance. And they're like, break a leg. Like, th th like people don't realize the power of words, you know? So here we go. See that? Ten of Pentacles. This devil is so perturbed, trying to interfere and interrupt with your livelihood, your well-being. And you're getting the hell up out of there. You're leaving. You see this person for who they are. They think their trick, their trickery is like hidden, but you could see right through them. You could see straight through them. They're not stopping nothing. You're still progressing. Spirit notices how hard you've been working. Look at all this progress. All this success. You're single. You out here looking good. You're feeling good. You, you're mastering your craft. You're sharpening your sword and this damn devil. See that? This is this person. But it's like you have learned to channel, you know, that power and to, to co-create with source. You've drawn that awareness. And that's what led you to see the devil for who it was. So it's like you're taking, you know control in your own hands and you're going to a lot of you all that's why that manifestation was there because you turned into the magi into that alchemist you knew that you had the power to change and transform your circumstance and what did i say about justice they're going to receive karma so mama Ma'at has everyone's address this person this vile person this devil this evil ass person that's sitting around monitoring your day-to-day -day, Oh, they're going to have to they're going to have to pay for that because Mama Ma'at has everyone's address and whatever manner in which you sow your seeds, whether good or bad, vile with malice and contempt in your heart. Trust and believe you're going you're going to reap what you sow. That's why they sitting here stuck on stupid. Because whatever they thought they was doing to block you, whatever they thought they was doing to be a, a wall, the, a roadblock to roof you, it's like now they're stuck mentally. There's no worse place to be in prison than in the mind. Mofos go crazy and be stuck in stray jackets behind that. See the Queen of Swords? And we just saw 4343, which is 77. You are too sharp. As soon as I said the Queen of Swords, you caught their eyes, just like Jay Z. You caught their eyes. There was something in this person, not just their eyes, but the energy also. You know what I'm saying? Just like they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So you could tell when somebody's lying, but you also could tell when somebody's lying based off the energy that they're giving off. Energy does not lie. And energy is also transferable. That's why you had to cut that ish off. You had to move on. You, you played chess with this person. And we got the truth playing. So you discovered the truth about that devil. We got India Ivory singing the truth. So you you definitely started to see someone for the liar, for the master manipulator, for the trickster, 
the deceiver that they were, the devil that they were, and you cut yourself free from that, that thing that was trying to block you, keep you stuck and stagnant, because you see all this cloud, all these clouds, they're dissipating and clearing. This is what you once was in. You was very cloudy. You was very confused. I just saw a 4444. Four, four, four. And your angels and ancestors, they, they dropped a jewel on you. They told you to look at things from a bird's eye view. That bird here is giving you a very direct message. This is divine intervention. These are the synchronicities, the downloads that you started to receive. And it told you, watch them. Pay close attention. And so you wasn't doing no talking. But you definitely was watching. You started to pay closer attention. And once you saw these people for who they truly were, and once you were, it was confirmed of the intentions they had, that's when you took that sword and you cut yourself free. You cut yourself free, and that's why that domestic harmony is there. This is the last shuffle. Let's go ahead. I cut the deck, and then I... Oh, man. Nope. That Queen of Swords, I got to get the Queen of Swords because that was your message. I forgot that I cut the deck. Let me find the Queen of Swords. All right, so there was a reason why I cut the deck. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to shuffle three more times, and then I'm going to cut the deck again. But the Queen of Swords was really to uh, clarify this because I feel like, you know, as, we, as I said, it's like the Queen of Swords doesn't take too kindly um, to anyone insulting her intelligence. And so you started to pay closer attention to this very vile energy, this energy that was obsessively watching, stalking, micromanaging, you know, or just overly concerned with you, worried about what you got going on and what you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. So the Crusaders is playing street life. Yeah, this person was definitely on a whole, they was on the, um, mission when i think of crusade i'm i heard mission it was just on a mission to cause havoc it's very funny you know because like i said i felt karma all over this person it's like spirit is not don't play with that type of energy because as i said you know you all are you know many of you it's come out repeatedly you know have been you know chosen like you you have a purpose here you know you've you've ex experienced great pain and hurt you've overcome certain traumas and it's like for people to still be coming at you with this vile energy oh they're gonna have to pay for that see that nine of pentacles so this is why spirit made me mess up the cards because this makes more sense anyway not that it makes more sense but this was the message this is what was meant to happen the nine of pentacles what did i say about somebody overly concerned with you the nine of pentacles is you doing amazing you like a renaissance woman, like you out here, you know, starting businesses, you're doing, you're thriving, regardless of what roadblocks this person is trying to do, regardless of whatever, you know, setups that they're conjuring up in their sick brains. They're the ones stuck with that. They're over here concerned with your glow up, with your growth, with your expansion, with the fact that you have the ability to take care of you and you are doing so whether they like it or not. You're self-sufficient, independent. You rebuilt. You're getting the divine downloads. You see this red bird? This is like your angels and ancestors forewarning you, telling you, watch them. Watch your front. Watch your back. Protect your energy. You have. It's been clarified. It's been confirmed. And this is why. You've worked hard for everything you have. So this person trying to block whatever is just out of disdain, out of malice, out of envy, out of jealousy, nothing more. You are not lazy because you can't be here with the nine of pentacles if that were so. So this is a personal vendetta. This is a personal issue they have, yet they're trying to project it onto you. Can't make this ish up. You got the two of cups, domestic harmony, 46. Somebody that was stuck in a connection or a, a karmic relationship, I should say, that relationship has come to a close, to an ending. Karmic cycle has completed because you and them, they feel you're destined. You're like, you're destined to be together. They feel you are the one that got away. This is somebody that has a lot of love. This is somebody that definitely has a great feeling of emotional fulfillment around you. Like they feel like you are just beautiful in every essence of the word. Not only are you attractive, but you are also wise. They see you as someone very passionate, very strong. They see you as someone who is a leader. 
They see you as someone who takes charge. They feel like you harmonize their spirit. You ground them. You center them. Maybe the two of you share a love and affinity for music, particularly maybe hip hop. You love to sit around. Maybe y'all used to listen to hip hop. And I'm hearing like, you know, old school hip hop from the 90s. Y'all may have an affinity towards that. Even if it's not hip hop, music in general. But there was something that really harmonized your spirits. You both had this synergy, this chemistry. This person has a lot of passion and love for you. And they feel like you give to them equally and they could give to you equally. And so we have the seven of wands. So maybe this person perceives you as being very guarded at this time, maybe because of their circumstance. But this is what they truly desire because the four of wands also popped out. So I feel strongly that they're like blocking out an X because I just get a sense that, you know, they are, you know, looking forward to something new. You know, with this four of wands, um, seven of wands, pardon, pardon me. This is really like a defensive energy. This is really like a protective energy, protective bubble. Don't disturb my groove. I'm on to bigger and better. After the seven becomes comes the eight. So they're ready to take action, but they're like fighting off whatever this, you know, whatever this remnants of this past circumstance, they're like really, they're defending their position now. It's like they're standing up for themselves, standing their ground. And it's because they truly know what they want now. They've been hurt, they've been pained, but they know that it wasn't for naught. Because what they deeply want to go after is you, because they feel you are the yang to their yin or the yin to their yang. Pardon me. This is what they want to heal. They want to heal this connection because they look at you as the empress. That 66 reduces to 12. That's three. This is someone that feels that you match their fly, that you are a like mind, that you compliment them, that you are nurturing, loving, caring. They want to be attentive and affectionate, and they want to share all of their deep secrets with you because they know that their f secrets are safe with you. They feel like they could be their authentic selves with you. They feel like they can build with you and grow with you. They want to have a family. They want to build a, a, a legacy with you. And this is something that I feel they have yet to communicate, yet to express. That's why we have broken language, because they have not expressed what they truly desire. And maybe in some ways, their action or inaction has caused some, you know, their own heartbreak. But this is something that they dream about heavily. I keep picking up on dreams and I feel like they dream of reunions. They dream of reconnecting. I even think they rehearse like what they're going to say when they bump back into you. They just want to celebrate. They can even see marriage like marriage, family, children, house. They can see vacations. The six of coins is here. So there is absolutely some sort of offer. And this is like a very generous offer, you know, with the three. There's the six of pentacles, but he's handing this person three. So this is half of six. So this is someone, like I said, that is going to um, be very generous, very kind, very giving. This is someone that wants to build an alliance, a partnership. You know, he's offering you three coins. And they will be left with three. So it's like this is that equal give and take like the two of cups. It's like they want to be generous in that regard. This is something very new to you because maybe some of you all were dealing with a very imbalanced relationship in the past. Because I saw that um, that rebirth, which would, you know, which would definitely denote that there was some painful endings, losses. And I was also picking up with that 66. There was a three of swords. So you had to go through some sort of pain. It was a lot of sudden loss. You know, maybe you've discovered third party shenanigans. Maybe there was karmics. Whenever karmics are in the question, you know, into question, come into question, it's like, you know, the potential of a triangulation and it, it, it comes into play. But I absolutely feel like this is someone that's going to be attentive his eyes are completely on you. He's not looking in the different direction. He's offering you half of what he has. 
So this is someone wanting to build that partnership, wanting to build a legacy. This is a new beginning, a new opportunity to rebuild. So why is this new beginning here? May I have a message of love and life for my divine feminine. Somebody is at a distance and they're wanting to come toward you. I'm here and they want to take charge. They want a new opportunity. This is someone wanting to, you know, like wave a flag. Like even though this is a red flag, it's like spirit is telling you like this situation is really uh, one that you should consider. I was hearing like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I was hearing some not submit, but uh, surrender earlier. And my throat is getting blocked. If you could hear it. <clears throat> So this person may have difficulty communicating, but there is distance. And I feel this person wants to travel towards you. Red is associated with, you know, it could be associated with love, but it's also associated with passion. This is also associated with um, the root chakra. So it's like they want to get back to the root cause. You know, maybe somebody has done their work and they've they've done a lot of internal work and they're realizing that you are, you know, you feel like home mustering up the strength the courage i can't make this up i didn't even see that and a king of wands somebody who has a lot of passion somebody that goes after what they want this is someone trying to master you know muster i should say up the courage up the strength to come towards you because they see you as very powerful you know and they also know like you have transformed they don't know um if you will be receptive but i do feel like they are really you know trying to uh, muster up the strength they're trying to come towards you to be a little more assertive this time around because I feel maybe in the past they weren't and there goes the eight of swords that I mentioned about you remember I told you this 71 health and this is somebody that like you know literally watching you like you're watching your growth spurt watching you evolve because you doing the work you know and they sitting here stuck on stupid with this eight of swords sitting there, how you how you how you get yourself stuck on stupid because you worried about what somebody else got going on. I told you there's nothing worse than being imprisoned in the mind. You know, this is like crazy. This person lacks spirituality, you know. Whoever this is, this is somebody that is just like I said, they they, they like to to play with, with, with you know, with that negative energy. They'd like to, to dish out ish but they don't think about you know the boomerang effect and so we got footsteps in the dark so when i hear footsteps i always think of that uh very famous picture of you know the the sand, the beach you know the footsteps in the sand you know at the beach and you only see one set of footsteps and the person question why is there only one set of footsteps and not two and it's spirit says or uh, god says because i was carrying you so i feel like you know your spirituality is what has um absolutely carried you and protected you and 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 maintained your um your uh spirituality because it's like you developing that connection with spirit is what has um assured i should say you know um the successes that you have, you know, it's what has assured your ability to stay focused, even when you have some energies working against you, you know, um, you stayed focused, you didn't get distracted, you didn't allow the distractions to distract you off your path. And it's because you had spirituality, you were spiritually aligned, and you built your spiritual strength. And these individuals that were trying to use whatever powers for bad, they're having to sit back and part of their karma is to watch you succeed. So why is the 77 spirituality here for my beloved divine feminines? See that is a positive message. Somebody wants to clear the air with you. I'm hearing as well. Didn't I say somebody was spying and watching you? Remember we had uh, Roy Ayer singing searching. But you are definitely hip to the bull crap. You picked up on it. You know, like I said, there's something that you're picking up on and you're picking up on the energy because remember, we opened up the reading and energy was playing. So energy doesn't lie. And you also know when to cut things off. If someone lacks a sense of spirituality or they have this negative low vibration, you're cutting it off. There's no place in your life for that.
and with footsteps in the dark, somebody could be potentially be trying to be, you know, um, tricky in their movements, trying to sabotage, trying to, you know, they have some ulterior motives, very um, beguiling, but it's like you're catching it because you're highly intuitive. You know, the high priestess showed up, so she sees all that's hidden. And this three of cups and the six of coins also flew out. So you're going to have celebrations regardless. There is a reunion here with someone that is your divine masculine. And this person is offering you exactly. You don't, I feel footsteps in the dark is like, you don't know it's coming, but you do. Like you can sense something is coming, but you don't know exactly what. But this is somebody that is like returning like this is somebody that's returning to you for a new beginning because they absolutely feel like you're the one that got away. They feel you're the yin to their yang. They feel you're their twin flame, their soulmate. They feel that you're wifey material. And this person is just mustering up the strength and courage. But they're definitely like secret admirers. You have a couple of them, I feel. You know, some of them are secretly admiring you, admiring you you know, uh, because they are attracted to you and would like to get to know you better while others are watching and searching for something, being very manipulative. Somebody could be manifesting you back into their life. You see this energy? They see you as very self-sufficient. You are the queen of pentacles in this person's eyes. So it's like they see how single you are. Like you've been, you worked hard to get to where you are. With this eight of coins, like you work very hard, you know, you you don't front out here. You ain't perpetrating a fraud, you know? And so it's like you're setting intention. You you ask and you shall receive. You seek, you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open to you. But you know the power that you possess because you channel it. You, you co-create with source. Somebody is watching you and they like what they see. They, they definitely like, you know, how powerful you are. They like the fact that you own your power, that you're fearless, you know? We got great fortune here on the bottom of the Kipper deck. So all of this hard work definitely pays off. Spirit is saying you are absolutely going to receive return on your investment. All the hard work, all the discipline, all the focus, all the ambition, all that willpower, the inspiration, the drive, the motivation, the focus, the eyes on the prize. That's why this great fortune is here because you worked for it. And that's why these hating ass people are frustrated because no matter what they did to wear you down, to tire you out, to throw you off your past path, to distract you. It's like the blessings are still coming, beloved, because it's coming from divine. Divine sees all you're not God. That's why I said just because you got a supervisory role or you're a manager, don't use your powers for bad. This message could be for somebody in here. Like if you are a supervisor and you're exploiting that power, abusing that power, and, and you're taking off your little personal vendettas on people because you can, please trust me when I tell you, karma, karma, karma. Mama, my aunt sees everything. And we got DMX in the name of uh, Rising Power King. This is featuring the locks. And this is called That's My Dog. And so this is about um, dogs represent loyalty, you know, and DMX is an acronym for dark man X. So don't be on the dark side of things. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with balancing the two, but don't just be out here being some old negative Nancy, some Debbie Downer, some old lying ass Larry, some old hating ass Harry. Don't be that person just because you think you got the power. Because the same way you have the power, the power can be taken from you. And then you'll be right back in a position where you looking for some some sort of uh, position and, and others may abuse their powers towards you. It's like, yo, universal law, beloveds. So whoever these individuals were, this is what they're really perturbed by. This is what they're trying to block. But this is like, this is destined for you. There's, there's no doubt about it. This is what's meant for you. And look at that. So isn't the marriage. So this card absolutely flew out. And I feel like spirit is telling me that this is your message. So we're going to take it. We got two messages that flew. I only know one of them was the great fortune. So let's see what the other is. And on the split, we had marriage. So I, I was telling y'all and you got this wealthy man watching you. So that number three, that's the empress. Somebody definitely feels you're the yin to their yang. I mentioned that because that 11-11 flew out. And that 11-11 flew out the four of wands. 
and then you got this three thir I mean this 13 see that so remember the 13 flew out or showed up in the numerology deck in the beginning of the reading and that's speaking about rebirth that's speaking about transformation someone else has been transforming as well same as you because the 66 12 the three this is the three this person is seeing marriage they're seeing you as someone that matches their fly 13 they've too have transformed that 13 reduces to four this is a divine masculine and those cards I'm about to clarify um, you know the all the deck but remember we got the four 11 11 so someone definitely sees you as their twin flame wifey material someone that they want to take home see this I can't make this ish up we got courtship that came out and great fortune so great fortune this is what's clarifying that because that's the first message that I saw and this card literally jumped out of my hand as I was about to shuffle the cards so this is what this person is up in their head obsessively thinking about worried about what you got going on because they can't stop your blessings they can't dim your light you're born to shine you were a born you were born a star it is destined it is written in the stars there's nothing this devil this hateful ass person can do to block this spirit is the one blessing you with it how is the devil going to block it it can try but it cannot succeed and that's why it's so disturbed, so perturbed. And this courtship is here. So spirit is saying that this person is blocking out that person from the past, this person karmic that they've had to walk away from. They're guarding themselves from that energy because this was an imbalanced connection, disharmony. There was nothing that they had in common with that person, which is why they've created this boundary, which is why they've created distance. But what they truly desire is to turn around and court you because that same four which is this um the uh, wealthy man 13 that's this person here same colored outfit like they coming in swooping in like look beloved i love you <laughs> let's just let's just stop playing games i was playing in the past they know what they want and they want to come in and they want to court you because they know already who you are to them because they've been healing and through their healing they've had several revelations several epiphanies through that process and one of them is that you are the one they're going to court you but this is what they got on the back of their mind is marriage they're not playing so why is the 66 healing and the four of staffs here for my beloved divine feminine. Divine spirit of love and light. I feel like this person wants to move in with you because we have we have Casa overall playing, but what uh what's sticking out is the word casa, and I'm thinking of casa like the home, you know, mi casa. So home, that means home and I believe Spanish. And remember broken English was playing earlier when I was clarifying this message. So I feel like this person definitely, and the name of this song is called Show Me a Prison. So this person was dealing with somebody that was trying to keep them stuck, you know, trying to keep them stuck in a connection, but they really want you. I'm getting a couple of messages here. I feel like you got new love coming in, but I feel like a lot of y'all are like, you know, moving on to something bigger and better in part in pertinence to your careers. Your finances are improving. Things are looking up because you're like independent here showing like independence. You got your independence back. Bottom of the deck, overall energy thief. See that this person was dealing with someone who was an energy vampire, a block for them. That's what they're healing from. They got played. And remember, we got um, Casa overall singing Show Me a Prison. So they was trapped in a very vile, volatile relationship is what I heard. And that's the reason why the relationship, the domestic harmony is there at 46. Because this isn't peaceful when you can't trust the people you're around. You know, they was being tag teamed by two people, you know. And I was picking up on like triangulation, third parties. Someone was deceptive. And this is 666. So a lot of people, you know, equate 666 to something negative, the devil. But 666 is actually six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. And 666 also reduces to 18. That's nine. 
So I do feel like with this person, they realize that this connection has to come to an end. Nine is the highest number of change. I feel like there was something that, you know, a straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe someone stole something and lied about it. Maybe someone found out about, you know, their um, karmic being in another relationship. And that's what they were healing for, you know, healing from. But in healing, in that healing process, they started to revisit memories of you, remember memories of the connection they had with you. And I feel like, you know, this is not some toxic ex or toxic person. This is someone that you all may have forgotten about. Somebody that you may have, you know, y'all had dope chemistry, but then y'all just kind of lost contact, haven't spoken in years. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, it's been 12 years. Some of y'all, 10 years. Some of y'all, eight years. You haven't spoken to this person, maybe even 14. Maybe you haven't seen this person since college. Maybe you haven't seen them since high school. But it's like there was always the chemistry, the synergy. You guys may have listened because I was picking up like maybe the, the hip hop that y'all listened to was from the 90s. So this is y'all go way back to then. But this person had to part ways from a toxic, vile relationship. And through the process, the process of healing, there was memories that flooded their mind of you, the chemistry the two of you all shared. And that's why this energy of the four of wands, that's like them, you know, coming back to claim something that they feel is it belongs to them. The three of cups, that's reun reunions. See this distant horizons. I just said 666 reduces to um, nine and we have another um, nine. So there was definitely something anchoring them. This is an energetic block. This is someone keeping you stuck and stagnant. And in a distant horizon, they can move on, you know. So they had to do their work. They had to heal from this. They had to see something for what it truly was. And I just saw one, 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 one. So one, two, three, four, five. So, yep, there was a change. There was something, something like some sort of conflict, an argument. I heard explosive argument. Something happened. But this frees them, you know, this is like the gift and the curse because, you know, whatever was anchoring them at first, it's like now they could free themselves from this vile energy and they could go after the one they truly love and they can court them and, and you know, and they have, they're being very diligent, very mindful to protect their energy. And we got Floetry singing, say yes. So what did I say about spirit telling you to surrender? Because there is a new opportunity and this person is going through a lot to come toward you. And I feel like the synergy, the chemistry is going to be so through the roof. You're not going to be able to, to deny this. But this person is coming in and they're waving the red flag so you can see like they, they're not coming with the trickery. You know, they're coming in, letting you know, like being very honest. It's, it's like the red flag. You know how people be like, you'll watch for the red flags, you know, but they coming in waving a red flag. So, and that red flag is just them being, I feel, transparent, you know, mustering up the strength, being honest. They, I feel like they're going to be an open book. And I also feel like this person has a lot of love. They're coming in, you know, very assertively, a lot of passion. See that? We got the poverty on the bottom of the deck or despair, pardon me. Yeah, there's a lot of despair, a lot of hurt, but they're fleeing that. You know, and I mentioned, remember, I mentioned like dog in the past. There was a dog because this song, there was a song playing something about a dog. Who was that that was playing that song about dog? Dang, who was that? Oh, that was DMX. Pardon me. Yeah. So and I mentioned a dog and then there goes the dog. So this is somebody they was loyal to that was disloyal to them. And that's why they're feeling this despair. That's why they're bolting up out of there, looking for this new beginning. And they remember you, you know, they remember the passion. This is them almost looking, you know, taking a trip down memory lane. And they're still a king, you know, because this man here is still, you know, he's still successful. He's still wealthy, which is why they are, uh, you know, tag teaming him and trying to be uh, deceptive here but he's still dressed to the nines like he's not some broke down busted person I just feel that the, the the weight of it all you know has really um worn them down but this person is still uh you know they're still uh in that energy of self-mastery if you will so why is the new beginning the six of swords the strength and the king of staffs here for my divine feminine I can have a message of love and light spirit 
Why is the new beginning? The Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. We got community. So they are absolutely receiving, you know, a lot of support from their spirit team, guiding them towards you, saying, go get your divine feminine at number three. 39 reduces to 12. Go claim her. That's what you truly want. And spirit is saying, say yes, because we got flowetry. So they're going with the natural flow of things. As I said, they're not going against the current. They're, they're following exactly what their passion is what their heart truly desires, and they're also following the instruction of their angels and ancestors. This could be like um, predestined, as I said, a past life love. Didn't I tell y'all they was going to communicate? We got seven and seven, seven right there. Spirituality. This person will reach out. They may call you. They may email you, text you, DM you. They may pull up on you. But this is somebody that's definitely going to, I feel, swallow their pride to clear the air and to express something that they've, I feel, have been holding on to for quite some time. And I feel like, honestly, you're going to be very receptive because the sword is down. So you're not going to chop them off and cut them off immediately. Like you're giving them an opportunity to express themselves. And spirit is singing in the background, like Floetry is singing, pardon me, in the background saying, say yes. Because this person is going to be very honest. I feel like they're coming in, you know as an open book, you know, going to answer any questions you may have, be very honest, very transparent. Oh, snap. Look at that. It came right back out. That is your message. Expect the message. Expect the message and the expectation is here. You already expecting it because like I said, that queen of swords, she's very in tune, tapped in, you know, tapped in. She's on the frequency. She's on the frequency, beloved. That is really a powerful way to and the reading, beloved. Good Lord. So let me see. I want to pull a couple of messages from the goddess guidance. And we got to expect a miracle here on the bottom of the deck. And that's beautiful because we got great fortune here. On the split, we have easy does it. So divine timing, just as I said, everything is occurring in perfect timing. So you can't rush anything. You know, when you're trying to rush stuff, that's like you trying to tell God you know what's better. You're trying to tell spirit source you know what's best. And it's like some things are unforeseen. There's a reason why things take time. Good things take time to create. Appreciate that. You know, appreciate the timing because it pre it allows you the time to prepare for whatever's, t you know, to come. So divine spirit of love and light was coming in for my divine feminine and somebody's throat is like clearing up. I, I, like my throat is blocked, but it, it keeps clearing up on itself, on its own, without me having to, <clears throat> you know, do that. So it's like maybe somebody was really struggling with communication. It's not their, their, their forte. They don't really emote. They don't really express themselves. But I feel like, okay, so we got a couple of messages that flew out. We got, we got four messages. Don't back down is here. And we got Marvin Gaye. If I should die tonight. So we got true love. I can't make this up. So you got true love. And I'm going to put these cards where they belong. Somebody realizes they love you. We have bodies of water. So this is the great cleansing. The healing. This is the purification. Purging. Releasing and letting something go. It says spend time near water. Such as a lake. A river or the ocean. To recharge. So this is absolutely what this person has to do before they come towards you is there has to be some sort of healing, some some process of rejuvenating their spirit, you know. And we have bright future. I can't make this up. Look at that. This is a bright future. All right. You are guaranteed. This is stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So regardless of what these people may be doing to try to sabotage you, it's like it's not going to work. And we got peace. It says there is no need to worry as everything is working out. I feel this relationship in and of itself is, is going to be um, just a beautiful reunion. It is a beautiful reconnecting of souls. Like I feel with that spirituality, it's showing that not only are you the divine feminine, but you are connecting with the divine masculine and that energy, that that force that the two of you have, it will truly, um, it will be explosive. It will be very powerful collectively. Like the, the magnitude of that energy coming together. And if I should die tonight, die is, you know, nothing dies. It's, it's, it's transformed, you know, it's re, 
incarnated while wow, that split over here look at that didn't i tell y'all y'all was protected spirit was protecting y'all you got artemis guardian so your angels are protecting you from whatever this energy that's trying to block this i was picking up that you know this connection in and of itself was um protected as well you know because we saw that six love and i felt like you know that was like the lovers that was also giving me you know the um six of cups so this is a very divinely protected connection someone is absolutely coming back to shoot their shot that's why that six of swords was there as well and they're just mustering up the strength this person is saying to themselves like if i was if i was to die tonight like am i gonna die never revealing the truth never sharing how i truly feel with my divine feminine like i'm not promised like maybe that's what's motivating them encouraging them because it's like you know the way things are happening nowadays so you know what did i say about y'all needing to take some time out to just like you know protect your energy quiet the mind connect with source with spirit But you have a union. You have blissings coming in. So this is, I feel like, you know, just is like a continuation of the messages we've been receiving per in pertinence to like a job, your career, um, your finances. And, you know, you've already been assured with the nine of pentacles along with, you know, so if some of you all are stressing over money or stressing over your career, spirit is like, don't because your, your hard work will pay off. You know, if this is someone causing you stress at your job, they're going to be even more stressed when they see all of this blessing coming in because this is what spirit is saying. Stop worrying. Everything is already all right. You know what I'm talking about? Worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. We see how hard you've been working. We know that you're due and just this, you're due, pardon me, this carnucopia, this harvest, this prosperity, this abundance, this opulence, th this expansion, this success, this breakthrough, these victories. And so it shall be. These two elephants in the background with their trunks up, this, th they denote m not only powerful movement forward, but abundance, prosperity. And this is for a very long time. So you all are straight, beloveds. Straight. But this is your reading, beloved, divine feminine. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind and hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in if you are new. I hope the message is resonated and you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.